What's the first thing that comes to your mind after hearing the phrase, the most expensive thing on earth? Gold bars, luxury yachts, diamonds, or a dental bill? Spoiler, all this taken together is not even half as expensive as the things I'm going to tell you about today. We all know that the prices of things are usually formed at the intersection of supply and demand. But in reality, that logic doesn't always work out. In this video, you'll find out how much does a nuclear bomb cost? How many light bulbs are we going to have to buy to replace the sun? And what costs more, the most expensive medicine or a person's life? What's the most expensive thing on Earth and how to determine it? Maybe the most expensive thing on Earth is something very rare. For example, plutonium, one gram of which costs around $4,000. This radioactive metal occurs in nature, but in such a small amount that it's more profitable to artificially produce it. Plutonium is most commonly used as fuel for spacecraft, such as the Curiosity rover. And one of its isotopes, plutonium-239, is used to produce nuclear weapons. Such a ring, 11 centimeters in diameter and weighing around 5 kilograms, is enough to make one nuclear bomb. Therefore, the sale of plutonium-239 is tightly controlled. The most expensive things on Earth seem to be used for scientific purposes or military developments. That all makes sense, until you discover a magnetic hoverbed for $1,600,000. Magnets at the bed base repel from magnets under the floor, making the bed hover in the air. It turns out a piece of furniture can be worth 400 times the price of nuclear fuel. It's not just rare materials that can be extremely expensive. The cost and complexity of production raise the price as well. So Lyris is the world's most expensive drug, which is prescribed for rare and life-threatening blood diseases. The annual cost of treatment with this drug is almost half a million dollars. Why is it so expensive? Placing a new drug on the market can take about seven years and four billion dollars. In the United States, only 200,000 people need this drug. To make back the money spent on production and make some more money on the invention, a pharmaceutical company named Alexis Pharmaceuticals decided to make Soliris the most expensive drug on Earth. Do you know what's even more expensive? A dead shark preserved in a glass tank of formaldehyde. It's a cult masterpiece of a contemporary British artist, Damien Hirst, entitled The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living. In 2004, it was sold for $12 million. This shark turned out to be almost 25 times more expensive than the most expensive drug on Earth. The rarest things on Earth are really expensive, but it doesn't always make sense. Okay then, maybe the most expensive thing on Earth is something very common, like air or sunlight. We all pay our electricity bills. Imagine having to pay for sunlight as well. The sun shines on our planet with a power output of 3.8 times 10 to the power of 26 watts. And that's a lot. Let's calculate how many bulbs are needed to replicate the brightness of the sun. Let's take the standard 22 watt LED light bulbs. To simulate the sun, we'd need like 21 or 22 septillion light bulbs. To make things clearer, the observable universe has about the same amount of stars. Even if a box with a hundred of such light bulbs cost only one cent, every person on the planet would have to pay almost $300 billion to build such a structure. And I'm excluding the mention of electricity bills. And what about air? How much are you willing to pay to be able to breathe? Nowadays, you can buy air tanks, for example, to breathe underwater. 
you'll spend around $10 to fill a 10-liter scuba tank. One such cylinder with a pressure of 300 bars will fit 3,000 liters of air. In a state of calm, we breathe in around 10 liters of air per minute. We'll need around 5 such cylinders per day, and that's $50 a day. In 24 hours, all people on Earth would pay over $380 billion for air. But the air is still not the most expensive thing on Earth. Maybe the most expensive thing is the one we value the most. Imagine a thing needed by 100% of people on the planet. It breaks market logic because it always experiences peak demand. And no matter how much it costs, people won't be able to give up on it. How much does human life cost? Who can answer this question besides your insurance company? For example, the healthcare industry. Healthy organs in a donor body can cost around $7 million. The state can estimate the cost of your life based on the amount of taxes you'll pay in all that time. In the United States, for example, it's about $525,000. But I think the most accurate cost of life on Earth estimate was provided by Sophia the Robot at a press conference in 2018. She defined the viability of life as the ability of life to utilize energy for metabolism and reproduction, and that energy can be measured by currency. These are the numbers. Ha. Huh. Perhaps we can say the viability of life on Earth is close to $600 trillion or 800 billion Bitcoin. If all life on the planet costs $600 trillion, then one person's life is only $80,000. I guess even hitmen in Hollywood movies get paid more. So, it turns out a person's life is worth less than a hoverbed. Even though 7.5 billion people are willing to give any money in exchange for life, and a magnetic bed might interest one millionth of the world's population at best. But what's the most expensive thing on Earth, then? Antimatter is the opposite of ordinary matter. It consists of positrons, antipodes of electrons, antiprotons, and other antiparticles. It could potentially be used as fuel for interplanetary or even interstellar missions. Antimatter holds the record for the highest price among all substances ever produced on our planet. The price for one gram is $62.5 trillion. Antimatter is successfully generated at particle accelerators, but it's still far from being sold freely, because scientists have created only around 20 nanograms so far. To produce antimatter, the particles are accelerated to 99.99% .99 of the speed of light. It takes 120 megawatts of electricity. That's about as much as a big city consumes in 24 hours. Antimatter is very difficult to produce. That's why it's so expensive. So, it turns out antimatter is the most expensive thing on Earth. But what if we try to calculate the cost of matter? I mean, the whole Earth. How much could it cost? No, it's not a rhetorical question. Here's a formula to calculate this. An interactive BBC project called Costing the Earth tells about the cost of our planet using the value of its various components. For example, the value of freshwater supplies is $73.5 trillion. Trees were valued at $16 trillion. Polar bears in Canada cost $6.3 billion. And Canada without bears would cost $1.5 trillion. But let's go back to our formula. It was originally used to calculate the cost of the exoplanets which the Kepler telescope was investigating. Greg Laughlin, a professor of astronomy and astrophysics at the University of California, Santa Cruz, suggested using it to estimate the Earth's value. His calculations showed that our planet can be bought for five quadrillion dollars. Does it appear that the most expensive thing on Earth is the Earth itself? I guess that's fair.
So we can calculate the cost of any tangible thing, whether it's air, a human being, or even the Earth. What about the value of intangible things? Is it possible to calculate how much, for example, parents' love costs? Or communication with your best friend? Let's try. Friendship requires, on average, four hours of emotional care at least once a week, plus two hours a day for chatting and the exchange of funny pictures, and, of course, my videos, plus consolation service in times of distress, breaking up with a partner, the favorite team's defeat, for scratch on a new car. Things like that will take two hours a month, making up half an hour a week. Let's multiply it by the number of weeks in a year. On average, a one-hour session with a therapist costs around $100. Then a year-long membership to Friendship will cost $96,200. Write in the comments, how much would you spend on Friendship if it wasn't for free? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your best friend.